Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I gotta be honest, I didn't actually plan a video for today, but I still wanted to upload something. So that's why we're going to be doing a little bit of a different setup. Let me set the camera down here. So I thought about what interesting stories I can tell. And through doing that, I thought about the Saw movies, which have always been very important to this channel. And some of you guys even joke about that. I can't get away from talking about them. But there is one more story that I absolutely wanted to tell, but I never really found the time to do it. So we're going to do it today. And that is the first time that I watched a Saw movie. And there's a little bit more to this story than I popped in the disc. I watched it and that was it. It was a whole experience. It happened around 2011 or 2012. And some of you know that I'm from Germany, but my parents didn't work in Germany at the time. So we lived in Egypt and I was about 11 years old. And I was a very boring kid. I only played with Legos. I didn't really do any crazy stuff, you know. But I went to the school where a lot of the people, they played super violent games. They watched super violent movies. So if I went to their houses for uh, sleepovers or stuff like that, that's how I would watch violent movies and play, you know, games for 18 plus. Because my parents were the kind, you know, if a game was rated for audiences of 12 plus, and I was 11, they would not buy it. So one day I'm sitting outside the cafeteria and one of my friends comes to me and he says, hey, I have a Saw movie, do you wanna watch it? And I was like, oh my God, like this is the day, this is finally going to happen. By the way, for a little bit of context, YouTube was around back then, but it was not nearly as big as it is today. You know, you couldn't see full recaps of movies and HD scenes and all of that stuff. So if you wanted to find out what horror movies were about without actually seeing them, you would mostly hear about it through rumors. You know, you would hear people talking about it, maybe friends in your class. For me, I had an older sister and when she had friends over for sleepovers, you know, you could sometimes, you know, listen in on them discussing these super brutal movies and you would be like, oh my God, this, this is crazy. So that's why I was really excited that like this was finally going to happen. And it was kind of like, a test that you would do to see like am i brave enough to do that so i said yeah okay sure let's do it and back then you would buy dvds of the movie to watch them you know netflix wasn't a thing you could just stream movies online especially in egypt the internet was terrible you would definitely still need to buy dvds but in egypt you wouldn't actually get them so you guys know how dvds are kind of like a crappier version of blu-rays well in egypt we had vcds which were crappier versions of dvds i don't even think they played in standard definition but they had a terrible quality and because piracy laws weren't really that well monitored and enforced you would a lot of the times go to a physical store and buy a vcd of a movie and when you'd play it it would be like a camcorder recording of a cinema screen recording the film that you're watching so when we're over at his place he you know he gets his vcd of saw and he puts it in and of course i didn't know this at the time but it wasn't saw it was Saw 6. And that makes it a lot worse. A lot of you guys know that the first Saw movie is not really that insane yet. It's more like about the crazy themes and ideas, but there isn't that much violence. All of that came in the sequels and they got more and more crazy the further you went on. So I was definitely in for quite a ride. He hit play and the studio logos come up and you know, you have the Twisted Pictures logo. And that already made me question, okay, what, what am I about to experience? This seems very uh, not good. Of course, the Saw movies are structured in such a way that a lot of the time in the beginning, you have a very intense trap that gives you an idea for what the movie is going to be like. And Saw 6 arguably had one of the craziest starting scenes. And I didn't know this. So the movie starts playing and it starts in this very dark room. It's already a very creepy atmosphere and these two people wake up in a rusty cage. They have these helmets on that have screws that drill into their head. And then the Billy Puppet appears on the TV and explains that these guys have to cut off parts of their body and place them on a scale. And whoever cuts off more weight is the one who gets to live. Okay, I'm actually gonna uh, change rooms here because reliving this is a little bit uh, strange. So let me get to a different room here. Oh, and it's starting to rain now. <laughs> it's not good. So um, the scene starts playing and very quickly things just go completely off the rails. You know, they're starting to cut into themselves. The girl, she starts hacking off her arm and I'm sitting there completely paralyzed by fear. I'm frozen stiff because what I'm seeing is just is it's completely nuts and i was 11 years old i had not really seen a horror movie at that time and when i watched it and they start doing all these violent things i distinctly remember that my vision started to get 
more and more restrictive. You know, in my eyes, there were these like dark red borders that would constantly tighten. And, you know, thinking back, I've heard that people who uh, are, you know, passing out or are about to pass out, that's kind of what they experience. Their vision closes in until it's just one small point and then, you know, they black out. But as this started to happen, I got up and I walked away from the TV, you know, hyperventilating, just being like, what, what, what's going on? And I go into this room that is sort of like behind this TV room and I'm just sort of trying to understand trying to co comprehend what, what I was just looking at. And my friend, he puts the uh, VCD on pause and he comes over to me and he says, you know, like, is everything okay? Are you all right? And of course, you know, I didn't want to seem not cool. So I was like, uh, you know, no, I'm, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. And he goes, hey, come on, let's go back. Let's, let's continue watching the movie. And I just thought, oh, oh God. And I remember, I think I called my mother at that time. It's a little bit of a blur. It's quite some time ago, but I'm pretty sure that I called my mom and uh, told her to pick me up. So we sit back down, we watch the movie, and I actually remember a fair bit about it. So I remember seeing Strom in the walls trap. Of course, in Saw 5, Peter Strom gets crushed by the walls, and in Saw 6, you see them open back up, and you see the dead body just falling to the floor, just this piece of meat that falls to the floor. It's you know, pretty weird. And with the insurance executive, I remember him going through this dark dungeon-like thing. Of course, he had the trap of the oxygen mask, and I remember seeing that and just thinking like, man, this is messed up. And it was one of those scenes where I actually had to hold my breath as well as the characters in the movie were holding their breath. Then he continued walking and he went to the noose trap where, he, of course, there were the two people, the young guy who has no friends or family and the old woman who has a family. And then the insurance guy has to decide whether he wants to save the young guy or the old woman. And for some reason, he chooses to save the older woman. And then you have the young guy who has the barbed wire noose and comes flying at the window and blood goes everywhere. And I just remember thinking like, dude, these people are sick, man. This is mad. This is... This is, comp this is too far. Also, I have to say that in Germany, movies were very, very different. You know, violence was heavily censored out. And it's kind of funny because if you get a German version of a Saw movie, they play out, it, it, it's, it's a different universe. Usually the way it goes is that the trap starts and you know you, you have the explanation, but then everything that happens within the trap up to the character dying is literally completely deleted out. Not censored, not blurred, not you know trimmed a little bit. It's literally the trap is explained, the trap starts, and then the trap ends. You know, everything in the middle is cut out. So I was not at all used to the violence. So of course later on you have the scene where Jill is pregnant and she's in the uh, drug user's, what do you call it, rehab clinic, and she gets the door slammed on her pregnant stomach. And I watched that and I was like, can you even show that on a, on a television screen? Is that even allowed? And of course, then the insurance executive goes to the shotgun carousel. And this was like a circus gone insane. And at this point, I was tired. I'm pretty sure I was sweating. I was so overwhelmed by what I was watching. And the trap is about to start, you know, where the insurance executive has to decide which people to keep alive on the carousel. And that's when in the apartment, the doorbell rings. And I'm like, oh, that's probably, you know, that's probably my mom, I have to go. And he was like, wait, uh, are you sure? You know, let, let's check. And then it actually was, you know, the person that came to pick me up. And my friend goes, hey, you know, we, we should continue watching the movie someday. And I was like, no, no, I have to go. You know, I'm, I'm leaving. You know, it's all good. And then the next day he explained to me everything else that happened in the film in very gory details. And I have to say that listening to people talk about it was a lot more doable than actually watching it. I definitely had nightmares of the Saw movies for a couple of weeks afterwards. Anyway, I stayed away from the Saw movies for a couple of years. I only gave them a shot a little bit down the road when I was with friends at home and I had Amazon Prime Video and they didn't have it at the time. And we were browsing Amazon and we eventually saw the first Saw movie. And we were like, hey, we should watch that. And I was like, oh God. And we did, and that's when I thought, hey, you know, this isn't so bad. But one of my other friends, he was pretty traumatized by the first movie. So I watched Saw 6 and then Saw 1. And then after that, I watched Saw 2 and then Saw 3D. And then everything in between, you know, saw three, four, five. It took me a little while. I think I saw bits and pieces at, you know, other sleepovers and, uh, you know, when other people watched it, I saw parts of it, but I only watched them when I did my YouTube videos. And when I made the videos, man, that is an entirely different story because 
The first video that I made on the Saw movies, I did not expect it to blow up at all, and it actually kind of gained a lot of traction totally on accident, but I mean, that's a story for a different day. Anyway, that's the story of how I first watched the Saw movies. I know this video was a little bit different. I still hope you guys like it and that I get to see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.